that I actually produced uh, 2007, I saw a date. I, I couldn't remember what it was. So in 2007 and must have started in 2006 and went to 2007, uh, I, I produced about 65 shows. And here's three, four, five, six, seven. Here's seven uh, DVDs of uh, seven shows. And uh, I started to talk yesterday about um, mentors of entrepreneurship and how important uh, it is for you as you're starting this or even if uh, you have an existing business and you want to grow it that you engage uh, a, a team uh, that I call mentors of entrepreneurship uh, a mentor is a teacher uh, and these folks uh, will take your best interests and help you start or, or grow a, a, or, or grow your business. Sometimes they will charge for their services. Um, if you use friends, uh, folks who actually know you, uh, quite often they will not charge for their services unless there's a, a specific task uh, that needs to be done as opposed to sitting down with you. And 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 I I suggest rather than uh, dealing with each of these individuals on a one-to-one -one basis all the time. That's the only way that you deal with them. To deal with them as a team uh, and maybe have uh, host a lunch uh, for your mentors of entrepreneurship and inviting them. Now, who should be a, a part of your team? Well, um, I did a uh, I did a show. Uh, that I called starting a business, and I, uh, a friend of mine, Peggy Stuckey, uh, was actually starting her business, and uh, I asked Peggy, and this was, as I said, back in 2000, and I guess it was, yeah, it was. Uh, this is January of 2007. Uh, Peggy uh, had a business idea. And we talked a little bit about that idea five years ago now. And I asked her, and when she was in these startup stages, if she would take her business plan and present it to a group, a team of mentors of entrepreneurship. Uh, and on that team was uh, my friend. Uh, these are all folks that I knew. Uh, Bill was the business strategist, uh, Chris must have been the technology guy, Tom was the attorney, uh, John was the marketing guy, uh, Roger was the banker. Yes, uh, so I might have been I'm trying to remember who that Chris was. Uh, but you need a, uh, I don't know if Chris was an accountant, he probably was an accountant, but I can't think of who that is. Anyways, uh, an attorney, small business attorney. Uh, I actually have uh, four different attorneys uh, that I consider to be on my team. Uh, one, Robert, uh, specializes, well, when I need a a, a legal document written uh, of some sort, particularly an LLC, limited liability uh, company, corporation. I ask Robert to do that. Uh, he does it very quickly for me. He does it very, from a price standpoint, very reasonable for me. Uh, and so he has become the, my go-to person on, a, on an item like that. And, 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 and Robert knows a lot about, uh, he deals a lot of, with a lot of small business owners. So there's other uh, issues that, uh, that he could uh, possibly deal with. Uh, then when it comes to some 
bigger issues of business, uh, particularly in the area of raising capital. I had uh, I have another friend who I go to. Actually, went to that friend. He, he works a, a large law firm. Robert works by himself. Uh, this gentleman works uh, uh, by him uh, in a large firm. And I went to him. I had a, a, a legal issue, a potential court case. I was uh, suing somebody to get something back of mine that belonged to me, and they wouldn't give it to me. And he told me that he actually was not best suited for uh, litigation. So he gave me, Alan gave me the name of uh, another associate in his firm. And I uh, used that associate. Not a great deal. I, I kind of took charge myself. And there were certain things that I needed uh, an attorney's name to. So I asked. Uh, I asked Alan to help me out on that. Uh, and actually, Tom Anthony, who was on this uh, uh, on this advisory board, that listened to Peggy's business plan and then asked her important key questions about that plan. Uh, Tom also is in a large uh, firm and uh, has uh, a lot of contacts with large sums of uh, folks who have lar large amounts of money uh, if you need uh, venture capital. Uh, and, and Tom deals with uh, general business issues. And I believe Tom actually does litigation uh, and goes into a courtroom. Uh, then I have another friend, uh, attorney friend Bill. Um, and Bill, I actually met Bill when I was in college. I've known him that long. And Bill, uh, has taken on as a specialty in a in a, a small law firm. There's uh, I think a dozen lawyers in that firm. Uh, he has become an expert uh, in intellectual property and matters of uh, the internet. Uh, with the internet and with business done online and the whole internet thing, there has been a whole new breed of, of attorneys that needed uh, to specialize. Uh, because there is so much business being done on the internet, so many challenge about that that business. Uh, that that was a whole new area uh, of law that has involved in the last uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And then finally, um, um, personal matters. Uh, I have an attorney. Actually, uh, I grew up with Barry in the same neighborhood. Uh, 250 miles away from where he and I both live now. And uh, Barry handles some personal uh, matters for me. And uh, the last time I met with him was just a couple months ago. I needed to do some uh, new estate planning. And uh, so I gave Barry a call. And as we were talking, uh, he took an interest in uh, the business side of, of, of what I was doing. and. Uh, has invited me to get back with them so that he can uh, give me some ideas and some direction uh, from the business I think. So you need an attorney and it's your choice, but, but make sure that they understand small business uh, as opposed to big business necessarily or matters of uh, civil matters. Uh, they specialize in, in matters of business. An accountant who could be a CPA or just be a public accountant. Sometimes a bookkeeper will suffice, depending upon the nature of, of the challenge. Uh, but you need that kind of expertise uh, as you're starting your business because there are certain legal decisions and certain accounting decisions that are made uh, from day one uh, of, of having a business. And so you need to get those two members on your team as quickly as possible. Marketing, uh, in terms of marketing, uh, you will learn as much about marketing uh, as there is to learn by coming into our community uh, based upon my years of experiences and 
uh, I'm, I'm a marketing guy and a sales guy. That's what I've been doing my entire life. Uh, those are actually my my uh, areas of expertise. Uh, business strategy. There are many folks that you call upon upon for business strategy. Uh, I happen to uh, help a lot. I helped a lot of folks develop uh, their business strategy. As a matter of fact, one of the most not one of the most, the most successful business startup that I was involved with, uh, with a friend. I was his business strategist in the sense that he wanted his business to go in this direction. And I said to Kevin, no, Kevin, you, you are really, really good, as good as there is going in that direction. That's the way I think you ought to go. And so... Uh, he went in, and he took my advice and went in that direction and built uh, a huge business. Well, not huge, but uh, went from zero to several millions of dollars uh, in a relatively short period of time. Actually, he ended up selling his business twice uh, and made money both times. So uh, I was uh, I was his business strategist uh, on that one, and uh, a technology person is so very very important. Uh, we've talked about technology. We'll always talk about technology because our social network technology platform uh, is critical uh, to starting a business, and. For instance, in, in, in my exercise class this morning, I, I teach uh, cardiovascular exercise. I had three technology people in my class this morning. And I ask questions. It just I don't do this all the time, but for some reason it happened today. I ask questions of each one of those individuals separately, not as a group, but one-on-one. -on -one. And, and these are go-to people for me. Uh, but but uh, as, as you know, you heard me talk about Curtis. Curtis uh, has developed the technology platform, the social network technology platform of, of our community. And everything that you see in our community is customized uh, to... Curtis's applications development. He wrote lines of code that drive all the activity of things that happen in the community. And when you look at, at, a, at a site, uh, you have no idea, unless you know uh, technology, you know applications development, uh, you have no idea how many different technologies were needed to uh, develop the certain aspects, but each everything on there, uh, there, there, there's probably 50 or 60 elements of things on that page, and he wrote original code that he created himself uh, to make that page work uh, the way that he and I want that page to work. Always good to have a banker as a friend, not just to help you uh, with money decisions that need to be made for your business, uh, but if you need money, it's always good to have a banker friend that you can go to uh, to see if they can help you raise uh, money in their bank uh, or in another organization. And um, also, too, I, I had, but not in this segment, it must have been another segment, it's very, very important today uh, to have an insurance individual who uh, specializes in business insurance, and maybe it's a different person who specializes in health care insurance. If you're going, going to be providing health care uh, in your business, either for yourself only, uh, or if your plans are to build a company and, 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 and provide health care. Uh, one caution, if in the year 2014, 
uh, your business has 50 employees or more, you will be mandated. You will not have a choice about providing health care insurance for your employees. And by mandating, I mean it's not just you, you have to have health care, but here's a health care plan that you have to have at minimum. Here are the minimum requirements. So you need somebody who understands that and understands it well. I would go with a broker type individual, one who looks at the industry as a whole rather than an individual who sells one type of insurance for a company. A captive a, uh, agent of a company uh, versus a non-captive agent or a broker. Not that a captive agent isn't bad. Once it gets time to buy that product, if it's the right product to buy for you, uh, then you can go to a captive agent who sells a product, a certain kind of branded product. Uh, also in the I found some other shows uh, that I, I produced. I did quite a few shows on CPA and uh, and uh, business partners and business planning. Actually, CPA category was a big one. Uh, I hope to. Um, I'm going to try to figure out how to let you view uh, this. Maybe all I need to do is put a player, have a player, a DVD player, play it, show you, and then um, comment on it. We're going we're gonna to work with that. I'm going to try to figure out how to do that, and, and hopefully maybe I'll be able to do that tomorrow. Just play this, uh, play back this show that I produced, uh, this TV show. It was done on uh, public access television uh, in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, it was at in, on channel four at a station called Media Bridges. And uh, I actually did internet radio. I started doing internet radio at Media Bridges uh, before I did uh, the television shows. And internet radio was being done really before very much live streaming uh, was done. So we're going to end this segment. And actually, We'll get back to, uh, uh, it's a good segue, oh, it's a good place to stop right now, and we'll get back to our discussions tomorrow, and tomorrow I promise you I will focus on Michael Gerber and Brian Tracy and the great information uh, that the two of them bring and how they, they're both my mentors. Uh, I, I've, I've read uh, not everything that they've written, but almost everything. I've listened to tapes, uh, CDs, uh, and obviously had the chance to meet them and go one-on-one -on -one with them. But uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll talk about uh, yeah, the wonderful, brilliant ideas of, of uh, Brian Tracy and Michael Gerber, what kind of impact they have on me, and what potential impact they might have on you. Thank you for your time today. Uh, please come back tomorrow. Uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time if you're live at Stickham. If you're at YouTube, obviously we're available at YouTube 24 by 7 uh, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be producing uh, our 50th segment on starting a business. Uh, and thank you for listening and hopefully. Hopefully, I've been able to, at least every day, you should be able to take one new idea away that will help you start a business, help you grow a business, help you in your personal life. At least one idea. And if I'm not doing it, demand it of me. Make me do it. Uh, this is Small Biz David, and uh, I'll see you the next time, which may very well be the best time. Thank you.